Okay, we're back and we've made some adjustments to make sure everything's zeroed out and Lisa will explain. Okay, basically what I did was I adjusted all the, the pressure transducers so that we had, because they all had slightly different weights on them, I went back and zeroed all of them to zero again. And how do you do that? <clears throat> you have a balance control on each uh, driver board. So, and explain how it is you balance each one of these control mechanisms so that they read zeros at the beginning of the test. It really doesn't matter where I set them just as long as they're all set alike. Okay, so, so then, I, then, you, then you read them out over on the screen? That's correct, and I set all of them up for 1.3 volts as a center voltage. Okay, so now we're all basically zeroed out. That's correct, and all the gains were set for exactly the same gain. Okay, so are we ready then to run no load test number two? No load test two. Get some more data. All right, here okay, it goes again, go. folks. The magic starts now. Okay, that's good. Okay, you said that. And as you can see, I think we still got some inconsistencies because of probably the disc being out of balance, but like I said before, we can subtract all that stuff out. But it, it looks like it's a little closer than it was on the first test. Okay, so we got another data set for zeroing then. Okay, and we're going to... Mechanically gonna... leveled them out, so to speak, at zeros. That's right. I'm going to save this current waveform, or save all waveforms. I'm going to save this. And would it help to run one more no-load test to give us our baseline data? Yes. Alrighty. So while we do that, we're going to save the battery power and back in a minute. 